Batman, on a level, you could be the greatest I am back with another episode of You Know Bull, and today is Mr. Aaron United. Saying, how are you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I heard I heard about your little quiz. I don't know what um, Saeed and, and um, Rance got. Wait, who else came before me? Saeed, Rance? Saeed, Rance, and Flawless. So Saeed and Rance got four. Flawless got five. Why? That's how hard it is. Because oh. I can't lie, yeah. You see, since this series has come out, yeah, people in the comments have been saying you're the favourite. Swear down, okay. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Because my, cool. Let's... especially in my last video, everyone's like, "Get Mr. Aaron United on," so no pressure. All right, let's let's do this, man. Let's do. Wait, this. Say let's a number, first. Say a number, because I know what I'm. What I know what I'm gonna do with this clip. Say a number. What do you think you're gonna get? I said seven in, in the live stream, so I'm gonna stick with seven in it. Okay, okay. He says seven now. Let's see what. He... Okay, the first question: How many club World Cups have Manchester United won? Is it A zero, B one, C? Two or D three. Mm, Club World Cups. Club World Cups. Well, definitely the one in two thousand eight. Um, Ninety nine. Did the Club World Cup exist back then? I don't think so. You know. I don't think it did. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say one. Aaron's gone with the answer one, and I have to say that's the correct answer. One from one straight away. Boom, 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 boom. Come, Come on. on. Man. Okay, next question. What is Manchester United's record win in all competitions? Is it A nine nil, B ten nil, C eleven nil, or D twelve nil? I think it was I think it's 9-0 and it was against Southampton. Because I think when we won 9-0 against Southampton, we passed another record or equaled another record. I can't remember. I think it's nine. A. Are you sure? 100 percent I have to say the answer is 10 0. Fucking hell, man. Oh the 9 0 I think equaled the record Premier League total, innit? Oh no. Yeah, oh see, see this question, this quiz ain't easy. Oh my dear, yo, I might, I might finish with nine. Nah, come on, man, I got. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Trust me, trust me. They, they, the next couple of questions you should be able to get. Who was Sir Alex Ferguson's first signing as Manchester United manager? Is it A. McClare, B. Mark Hughes, C. Jim Layton, or D. Viv Anderson? Flipping out for oh my days. I don't know the other two men, so I'm just. I'm just tempted to say Mark Hughes, bro. You know, I weren't old enough to see him play, but I'm tempted to say Mark Hughes, man. I'm going to have to go with the number 10. Are you sure? Yeah, bro. I have to say, that's the wrong answer. It's Viv oh Anderson. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. I'm embarrassing myself here, bro. Oh, my Let God. me tell you this. Flawless also started with zero out of three, and he got the highest score so far. Raw. All right, cool, cool, cool. So there's still <laughs> enough time to close this back. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's go. Let's carry on. What club did Manchester United sign Anderson from? Is it A Porto, B Gremio, C Santos, or D Braga? Oh my days. What are the options again? Oh, yeah. Uh, Porto, Gremio, Santos, Braga, bruv. Oh, my days. Stressful times for Mr. Aaron right now. This one here, yeah, I'm just going to have to flip in. Guess it, bro. Porto, Portugal, Gremio, Brazil, Santos, Brazil, Braga, Portugal as well. Oh, my goodness. That's why I made it hard. Portugal's have a lot of Brazilians playing there. It's between Braga and Porto, isn't it? Potentially. It's between Braga and Porto. Um, 
he is Brazilian. No, is he Portuguese? He is Brazilian, so he definitely came from there. I think he's, yeah, he started at Gremio and he went to Porto. So we signed him from Porto. I have to say, that's the correct yeah, answer. Oh, come on, man. Yes. Finally. Yes. Well, see, Flawless did the exact same thing and he finished the top. So let's follow go. the pattern. This question you should be able to get right is from this season. <clears throat> Who scored the most goals in the Europa League this season for Manchester United? Is it A, Rashford, B, Bruno, C, Greenwood, or D, Edison Cavani? Oh, shit. Cavani. I think it's Cavani. He scored the most goals. You said Edison Cavani. I have to say, that's the correct answer. Yes. See, now you're on a little roll here. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, man. Come on. Okay. So this year, I'm going to give you... The question is how many stadiums in the UK have a bigger capacity than Old Trafford? Let me say mm -hmm. this, Ed. This means rugby stadiums as well, yeah? So just okay. general stadiums in the UK. Okay. And I think Wikipedia has Old Trafford having a capacity of 76,000. Okay, cool. So take that as like a base note kind of thing. How many stadiums in the UK have a bigger capacity than Old Trafford? Oh my god. Uh, I was gonna have to think again, bro. Oh yeah, let me say the options. Is it A zero, B one, C two, or D three? Okay. Uh um Let me think about this one, yeah. Um I'm really stressed. I was stressed, bro. I'm trying to think. Old Trafford, you said is 70 something, yeah? 76,000. That's like the base. Let's take that as the baseline kind of thing. Because different websites have different things in it. You know what? I like even numbers, so I'm going to say two. You said two. That's the correct answer. Oh, come on, man. Yes. And now you're on a roll. Come on, man. Can you name the two? Let's see. Wembley. Yeah. I don't know the second one because... Twickenham. I, I, is that a football stadium? Rugby. That's so, what I said. Yeah. Stadiums in general, isn't it? Okay. So you I gave you that little clue kind of thing. Yeah. See, you see. <laughs> seven. Question number seven. All Which right. club did Dennis Law not play for? Is it A, Man City, B, Roma, C, Torino, or D, Huddersfield? Jeez. He's a Ballon d'Or winner as well. Dennis Law. Oh, let me think again, bro. Oh. Dennis Long. See, I told you the questions are hard. Everyone who's come on has been stressed. Which club has he not played for? Mm. City, Roma, Torino, Huddersfield. Um. Man City. Torino, Roma, Huddersfield. I'm going to say, I don't know, man, because I'm, I'm just going to have to guess, bro. I'm going to say Roma. You going with Roma? Yeah. That's the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron is on a roll right now. Oh, Listen, let's goodness. see, let's see. Because there's, what, three more questions? You could literally see... Like, if you get around, what, seven, you could... That's an amazing score. That's mad. The next question, this, this one you should be able to go right. Which Manchester United manager has the highest winning percentage post Sir Alex Ferguson? Is it A, David Moyes, B, Louis van Gaal, C, Jose Mourinho, or D, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? See, the thing is... You know when you talk about it, but now I'm, I'm struggling, bro. 
I told you the pressure on the quiz is completely different. It's like penalties in training. Penalties in training are easy, but the real game is completely yeah, it's different. Hard. Winning percentage post to Alex. Definitely the aim, boys. LVG and Jose, I think it's close. I think it's between LVG and Jose, but I'm going to go with Jose because we won more. We won the most titles under Jose, so I'm going to say Jose. Are you sure? 100%. Aaron went with Jose. That's the correct answer. Get in there, man. Let's go. Um, I'm ready. Unfortunately for you, the next two questions are quite hard. <sighs> Who did United beat 2-1 in the 1991 European Cup Winners' Cup final? Is it A, Sampdoria, B, Real Madrid, C, Barcelona, or D, Borussia Mönchengladbach? 1991, you know. Oh, my days. European Cup, Winners' Cup. That's the Super Cup, isn't it? Well, which is now known as the Super Cup. Who did we beat? Gonna have to guess again, bro. And I'm gonna the say... The guesses have kind of worked out so far, so you never know. Trust me. And I'm gonna say... Mention Gladbach. They, I don't think they were popping around the nineties. The likes of Günther Netzer and all them, and had already like were towards the end of their career, so not them. Sampdoria. I doubt they were really strong European football wise. Real Madrid, Barcelona. I don't think it was Real because they only started to pop towards the end of the nineties, start two thousands. So I'm gonna go with Barcelona because I think the nineties was was the period where their man started to because ninety one and then in ninety four they won the champion Champions League. So that's when they started to like recruit. I'm just waffling by the way, but that's what I'm assuming. So I'm gonna go with Barcelona. Aaron went with Barcelona. That's the oh, great come answer. On, man. Come, hey, you see, you see Six what I from thought, nine. Hey, hey let's listen. Hey, listen. See, that's why I like your logic going through it. Yeah, that's sensible. You done your thing right there. Fair play. Come on, man. <laughs> I normally use a big nasty laugh on every single person here yeah, who fails to get the score that they normally get. I don't think I can use that this week. <laughs> Which I found <laughs> now. Come on, man. Who is the youngest player to play for Manchester United ever? Is it A, David Gaskell, B, Jeff Whitefoot, C, Duncan Edwards, or D, Angel Gomez? G. Oh. I'm really tempted to say Duncan Edwards, but I think there's a twist to this one. I don't know. I don't know the first two, David Gaskell and uh, Whitefoot. I don't know them two. I've heard of Duncan Edwards, obviously. Angel Gomez, obviously, as well. I think Gomez made his debut at 17. Duncan Edwards as well, but I think it's the days. It's, It's between... Duncan Edwards and Gomez. But I think I'm going to go with Gomez. You're going to go with I've, Angel Gomez. I've, I think it's, it's, it's literally days apart between both of them. So I'm going to go with Gomez. Aaron went with Gomez. The correct answer is... Mm. Gaskell. Let's so Aaron ended the quiz show with a record high 7 out of 10. I am shocked. <laughs> well, I'm going to stick with 7 in it. Oh, oh, it's, it's that man's in the mud, bro, in sandals, bro. I feel great, man. I'm excited to see who's going to level my record or even beat my record. So, yeah, to the next guest, good luck in it. Listen, this quiz hasn't gone the way it planned. If you, got, if you guys got difficult questions here, yeah, write them in the comments because the next guest must suffer even more now because Aaron did not suffer and I'm angry. But anyway, anyway, big up for watching. Comment down below what you got and your age, because that's always interesting to see. And subscribe to Mr. Aaron United TV. Is oh, Mr. Aaron United as well. Yeah, it's just Mr. Aaron United, no TV. Yeah, I don't know why I said TV.
Well, big up, Mr. Aaron United, for coming on. 